Doom, 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 doom. What are you looking at? Are you ready for this video? Of Mr. Noble versus the T-Mobile 5G hotspot. Are you ready? This is the T-Mobile 5G hotspot. Booyah! Faces! All right, let's go. Top 10 results after one year. So let's discuss how the T-Mobile 5G hotspot has performed. Number one, let's talk about performance and speed. Let's discuss how the T-Mobile 5G hotspot has performed over the course of one year. And we'll talk about discussions about the coverage, the speed, the reliability of the 5G connection, whether it has met our expectations. So let's do a speed test inside on the iPhone and the an Android. All right, let's run a speed test on both at the same time. Three, two, one, go. So on the Android, we got 17.21, and on the iPhone, 64.2. So like I said, it varies from device to, to device, depending on uh, what model uh, phone you have and depending on the congestion of the T-Mobile towers. Number two, we're gonna share the experiences with the hotspot coverage, discuss whether it has proven a consistent signal in various locations, both indoors all right, let's go. Let's see what we get indoors. So it looks like we have 64.4 and 17.21. And outdoors. We got 44.6 and 12.7. Pretty good. So you see the coverage and the speed test varies depending on congestion of the tower and depending on your location. It's pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna head back on inside. Number three, data usage. We're going to reflect on the data usage and patterns and how the T-Mobile 5G hotspot has accommodated our needs. And we would discuss any limitations or restrictions you may have encountered and whether the correct data was sufficient for your usage habits. So this is how I will reflect on using it, my data usage patterns on the outside of the house like especially if i'm on my way to the park or just walking around and i'm not using wi-fi so that's how i would use it so as far as limitations or restrictions i have encountered it powering off at times number four we'll discuss the battery life talk about the battery life of the hot spot we're going to share our impressions on how long it's lasted over a single charge and whether it was consistent for our usage and the requirements. Well, overall, the battery life has been great. If I'm constantly using it for two or three days, then I would normally have to charge it. So I gotta say, I'm actually completely happy with the impressions and the consistency of the usage requirements as far as the battery. It has met my expectations. Number five, device compatibility. 
We'll discuss the compatibility of the T-Mobile 5G mobile hotspot with different devices. So let's talk about whether it worked well with smartphones, iPads, or other devices, even on Android. And we'll talk about the difficulties or limitations you have encountered. Now, as far as device compatibility, the hotspot has been very good as far as staying connected with all my devices from iPhone to iPad, from the hotspot to the Android, pretty much. Overall, everything is pretty great. Yeah, every once in a while, I do have a few lags or it disconnects, but that's about it. Number six, the ease of your use, share of your thoughts of the overall user experience with the hotspot. Let's discuss the setup process, user interface, and any features that made it particularly easy or challenging to use. As far as the setup and the user interface, it was pretty easy to set up. It made it particularly easy or challenging to use when I first started out though. If you can if you notice in these layouts in this video, you will notice that I put in some notes for everybody to go over if you're having issues with any of your phones, iPhones, Androids, anything like that. If you just watch the video, there's drop downs for everything and you can go in and out of the video like you need to, to find the problems that you've been facing or that I've been facing and the comments that I've been getting from y'all on YouTube with the hotspot and with staying connected and the issues that you've been encountering. So hopefully this short video clip of the interface all the features, how everything works, how to get to certain parts on the internet. I hope this uh, helps everybody out. I took a lot of time and critiquing everything for y'all to make it a lot easier so you don't have to go searching the web for it. So I hope this tutorial with these drop downs of each and every setting or feature for the T-Mobile hotspot that we have. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I appreciate you taking the time out. I hope it helps everyone. And if you have any other issues with the hotspot, I'll be more than happy to help you out as much as I can. Just leave it down in the comments. Number seven. Now we're talking to customer support. Let's talk about the interactions with T-Mobile customer support team during the year will discuss the quality of the assistance received, the response times, and whether they were able to resolve any issues or concerns I had. Okay, so when talking to T-Mobile customer support, when I talked about my interaction, the team was happy to help me out as much as I could. Uh, they answered all the questions. I had trouble with the hotspot. Uh, they was happy to return it, and I was back to normal use and flying on my hotspot again. Number eight, is the hotspot value for the money? Let's reflect on whether the T-Mobile 5G hotspot provided a
good value for the price we pay, the benefits you gain from using it, whether it justified the cost. Now that I'm already a T-Mobile customer, I get a discount and I only pay $30 a month for 100 gigs. Number nine, your overall satisfaction with the T-Mobile 5G hotspot after one year of use will discuss whether you will recommend it to others and why will highlight the key strengths and areas for improvements way I've used it or the way you've used it. Okay, now with my overall satisfaction, it has been great for in, at home and on the go whenever I'm taking a trip or just riding around or if we go to the park we can listen to music play a few games in the park if we're sitting down uh, and the kids really enjoy it so overall it's it's been pretty great uh, we all use it on our devices especially when we're in the car it works out very well what else can I say but I'm glad that I have it it's it's always convenient to have a hotspot when you need it let me know down in the comments how you use your hotspot or how often do you use your hotspot or what do you use your hotspot for I'm very interested And your results might be different from my data, but it's always a good idea to stay up to date with the latest information directly from T-Mobile or other reliable sources that you trust. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me here at the Noble Hangout, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.